Hey guy lovers and welcome back to another video. Russian blue cats are a unique breed with a striking blue glimmering coat. They are known for their stark appearance, kind temperament, and interesting history. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to our channel for more cat videos. Now let's reveal 10 fun facts about Russian blues, ranging from their fascinating genes to their rags to riches roots. Number 1. Russian blues come from the Archangel Isles. Unlike many breeds that are a result of selective breeding, the Russian Blue is a naturally occurring breed. They are native to the Archangel Isles in northern Russia. This collection of archipelagos and islands is known to be frigid and forested. The region is very mountainous and is home to many arctic species, including the polar bear. Russian Blues roamed freely throughout the area before domestication. It is thought that around the mid-1800s, sailors began to bring Russian Blue cats aboard their ships. Over time, they became more popular around ports in the Archangel Isles. By the late 1800s, Russian Blues had been brought over to England and other parts of Europe. There, they began to gain more popularity. However, it wouldn't be until after World War II that Russian Blues really experienced a boom in popularity. Number 2. The Russian Blue was in the world's first cat show. One of the world's first cat shows took place in 1871 at Crystal Palace in London. It was organized by Harrison Weir, a British artist who thought up the concept of establishing standards and competitions for cat breeds. He served as a judge at the first cat show along with his brother, John Jenner Weir, and a well-known dog competition judge, Jay Cumming McDonough. The show was a massive success, drawing audiences of up to 20,000 people. It led to a massive surge in public interest in cats. The Russian Blue was present for this historic event. Even though the Russian Blue was not eligible for any rewards, and and it wasn't established as an official breed until 1912, it appeared in the show as the Archangel Cats. Despite not winning any prizes, their beautiful blue coats definitely made an impression. Number 3. Russian Royals Adored the Russian Blue before they wowed audiences at the first Crystal Palace cat show, Russian Blue Cats won the hearts of Russian Royals and Tsars. Russian Blues were considered to be very lucky and even to have healing powers. Mirroring the beliefs of the ancient Egyptians, the Russians believed that the cats had the ability to ward off evil and death. As such, they were favorites of the Royals. Russian Blues were often kept as pets and treated with the utmost respect. It is said that they were often placed in the nurseries of baby Royals to protect them in their infancy. Although Russian Blues don't actually have magical abilities, many Russian Royals certainly seemed to think so. Number 4. Russian Blues Have Thick, Velvety Coats Russian Blues come from a frigid Arctic region in the north of Russia. As such, they have adapted to withstand freezing temperatures. Their coats provide most of their protection from the cold, meaning they are very thick and insulating. Their fur is heavy, dense, and double-layered. The first layer, the undercoat, is fluffy and soft. The second layer, the outer coat, is dense, thick, and flecked with shiny silver tips. This gives the Russian Blues a shimmery quality. Surprisingly, Russian Blues are short-haired rather than long-haired. Despite many cats living in colder environments, developing longer hair genes, Russian cats developed thicker coats while maintaining their short hair. Even though Russian Blues have been domesticated and no longer have to brave the cold, they have retained their velvety coats. Their coats contribute to their bulky, stocky appearance. Though they do have a muscular, strong build, their coats definitely make them look larger than they are. Their coats are so thick that you can trace shapes and letters on them with your fingers. Russian Blues have developed many grooming techniques over time, and they are known for having exemplary hygiene. If you have a Russian Blue, you should help it with its grooming by brushing its coat once or twice a week. Despite their thick fur, Russian Blues don't shed very much, but brushing out their coats can be very helpful for removing any excess hair or oils. Number 5. Russian Blues are sort of hypoallergenic. To understand why Russian Blues are only sort of hypoallergenic, we need to review what causes allergic reactions in cats in the first place. A protein known as FELD1 is produced in cat saliva and sebaceous glands in a cat's skin. This protein invokes an allergic reaction in some people, around 10% of adults. When cats groom, shed, or come into contact with people that are sensitive to FELD1, an allergic reaction is triggered. It may surprise some to learn that there are no truly hypoallergenic cats. All cats produce the FELD1 protein, even hairless cats. However, some cats are much less likely to trigger an allergic reaction than others. Cat breeds like the Siberian, Siamese, and Bengal are among the cats known for being allergy friendly. While they aren't truly hypoallergenic as they still produce allergens, they produce far less than other cats. Russian Blues are among these sort of hypoallergenic cats. They produce very low amounts of the FELD1 protein, partially because they shed so little. Therefore, they are a top choice for cat guardians with allergies. But it is important to note that it is entirely possible to have an allergic reaction Reaction to a Russian Blue, even though it is less likely. If you are looking for a sort of hypoallergenic cat, it is important to meet the cat before going through with the adoption process. Number 6. Russian Blues Have Black Hair Jeans As expressed by their name, Russian Blues have a beautiful, glimmering blue coat. However, it isn't actually blue. 
The bluish shade of a Russian blue's coat is a diluted form of the gene that codes for black hair. Simply put, a black cat has either homozygous dominant or heterozygous coat genes. Capital B is the dominant allele, while lowercase b is recessive. The capital B allele, when paired with the lowercase b, is the one that will be expressed. Both heterozygous and homozygous dominant cats will have black coats. However, if two heterozygous cats mate, there is a 25% chance that their offspring will have a homozygous recessive coat hair gene. A cat with a homozygous recessive gene will have a diluted black coat that is expressed as a blue-gray color. Russian blues, if you haven't guessed already, have the homozygous recessive gene. Over time, Russian blues became a distinct breed. If two Russian blue cats breed, they will always produce a Russian blue offspring. However, the blue coloring is not specific to Russian blues. Since it is naturally occurring, it can be found in many different breeds. Unlike other breeds that have varying color coats, Russian blues are always a shade of blue. Their coat can range from silvery blue to gray blue. Number seven. Russian blue kittens often look different than adults. While Russian blues are known for their solid blue coats, Russian blue kittens are occasionally born with ghost stripes. These stripes are barely visible and tend to disappear with age. They are faint tabby markings and they are very unique. While only some Russian blue kittens are born with ghost stripes, almost all Russian blue kittens are born with yellow eyes. Most kittens across breeds are born with light blue eyes that often darken or turn brown with age. However, Russian blues do not follow this norm. Russian blue kittens are almost always born with bright yellow eyes. Once the kittens are around four months old, their eyes change to the signature green that Russian blues are known for. Their eyes can range from pale to vivid. So from their coats to their eyes, Russian blue kittens can look quite different than they will as adults. Number eight, Russian blues nearly went extinct. As previously mentioned, Russian blues were brought over to Great Britain and other places in Europe in the late 1800s. They were brought to the Americas in the early 1900s and were officially established as a breed in 1912. Breeders, primarily in England and the Scandinavian countries, worked hard to solidify the breed. From the time that Russian blues were established as a breed until the beginning of World War II, the breed did very well. During World War II, most aspects of society were rocked by the impact of the war. The cat breeding industry was no exception. Russian blue breeding programs were significantly disrupted, and the breed as a whole almost disappeared. Luckily, in the years following World War II, substantial efforts were taken to revive the breed. These new breeding programs were started in the United States, and they incorporated European Russian Blue bloodlines to help bolster the breed. By the 1960s, the popularity of Russian Blues had skyrocketed. They became very popular and were soon in high demand. Today, Russian Blues are one of the most popular cats in the United States. It is hard to believe that at one point they almost entirely disappeared. Number 9. Russian blues are like the Mona Lisa. Russian blues are a piece of art themselves, with their stunning and glimmering coats. Interestingly, they have something in common with one of the most famous pieces of art in history. Russian blues have a small upturned mouth that many people have noted shows stark similarity to the smile of the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is well known for her half smile, and it is said that she would only smile partially while sitting for the painting, despite da Vinci's requests for a full smile. Her face has become an iconic cultural figure and is arguably one of the most recognizable faces on Earth. Many people see the Mona Lisa in Russian blues, particularly through their partially upturned mouths. It seems to be an excellent example of life imitating art. Whether or not you can see the resemblance, it is a fun fact that Russian blues are well known for. In fact, they are often referred to as the Mona Lisa of the cat community. Number 10. Russian blues are pop culture inspirations. It is no surprise that Russian blues have been a popular artistic inspiration considering their beautiful, unique blue coats. In the modern day, they've inspired several different well-known characters and pop culture phenomena. One of the most famous is Tom the Cat from Tom and Jerry. With his blue-gray coat and green eyes, many suspect that Tom is based on a Russian blue. Social media phenomenon Nyan Cat, an animated cat with a popped art body, was based on the owner's Russian blue, Marty. Additionally, a Russian blue acted as a dangerous assassin in the hit 2001 movie Cats and Dogs. There is no doubt that Russian blues will continue to influence pop culture as time goes on. Now it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's cat of the week is Ozzy. His guardian says, Azumandius, also known as Ozzy Osball or Ozzy Demandius, is an abandoned cat born in early October 2022 who was hand raised by us. Ozzy loves the words outside, treat, and cuddles, and he loves to play with feather toys and catch houseflies. He's been practicing catching birds, which he hopes to do one day when he's older, except for that pesky bell on his collar. He has two older sisters, Kelly and Castoria, but he rules the house. No one gets to eat until he does, and he's not even a year old yet. Congratulations, Ozzy. Keep being possum. 
To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. As you now know, Russian Blues are beautiful, interesting, and influential cats, known for their signature coats. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Also, which of these Russian Blue facts did you find the most interesting? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.